work links, so many work zones. There's a lot, obviously, around Michigan. So I kind of just wanted to talk to you about what the crash numbers are looking like. You know, um, obviously, you can say it's not citations, but what could possibly lead to this? What this work zone crash may may have have done in Michigan. Well, the reason they're looking to implement these cameras in the work zones is because the police cannot be everywhere. We cannot be always in those work zones. We're out doing our calls for service. We would like to be in those all the, all the time. However, we can. So we're seeing an increase in crashes out in work zones. So I believe the MDOT and the uh, legislators are thinking we'll put cameras out there. We're going to start citing people uh, who are going through those work zones. Even with the police not there, the cameras are going to record their speeds and, and they'll be sent citations for that. And the reason being is we're just seeing a, a disturbing rise in crashes and deaths out in work zones. And do you happen to know what the crash numbers look like either from last year or this year? So I can yes, from, from 2023, there were just over 7,300 work zone crashes. So those are crashes alone in work zones. And out of those, 20 of those, or 17 of those were fatal crashes resulting in 20 deaths. And it, it, we had a couple that may have been, I think they were work zone work zone employees or it was the motorist as well. Yeah. And then out of those 7,300, there were, I think, almost 1,900, 1,900 injuries. So th that's just a disturbing trend. And Right, they have to be aware in that car. You could be looking down at the radio, trying to look at your phone, even if it's in a cradle, which you shouldn't be in your hand. Uh, leave, stay off that phone, because those work zones come up quickly. There's plenty of notice that you're coming up on them. There's even a speed zone sign that's going to tell you 60 miles an hour or 45 if you see uh, workers present in the area. So there's plenty of notice, and what we think is people just aren't paying attention before they know it. They're coming up and they're in those work zones and they're still at that 70, 80 mile an hour speed limit. Or they're coming up on a work zone and everybody else is slowing down but they don't realize it and they're running into the back of somebody or driving into the work zone and injuring people. Um, well, is there anything else that you'd like to add by chance? Well, the main thing is we're asking people to always drive the posted speed limits, wear your seat belt. However, when you are coming to those work zones, you need to pay special attention because a lot of time people are braking abruptly uh, there's a lot of traffic in there, workers are out there working, so we just want people to be safe, especially those work zone uh, employees. They, they expect to get go home at the end of the night. They shouldn't have to worry about someone running into them, so the, it's up to the motorists to do their job and pay attention out there.